There were violent scenes in central Melbourne this morning when construction workers clashed with police at a building site. The builder Grocon and members of the construction union, the CFMEU, are locked in a dispute over the union's presence at the site. Reporter Lisa Maximovic has the details. Well, while the pictures look quite dramatic, Nicole, police and the CFMEU are saying it's not quite as serious as what it perhaps looked. No one was injured, no one's needed medical treatment after that scuffle at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, and so far, no arrests have been made either. But police, in fact, um, did use capsicum spray at one point. A number of police who were on foot were knocked to the ground and were at risk of being trampled by some of the protesters. So they deployed capsicum spray to get people off them, around them and, and enable themselves to hop up. Um, a number of the horses, protesters aimed at them during the confrontation, pushed them back. Some used uh, some force to do that. Uh, police said that's quite disappointing, but the horses are OK. Uh, here's what the union said about that particular scuffle. What we've seen here this morning is Daniel Grolo's industrial relations. This is what he wants for every Victorian construction worker violence and thuggery on building sites. So what sparked these scuffles today? Police say they were actually helping some of the union members get into the site. There were 130 Grocon employees who were trying to get into the site today. That hasn't happened so far. This has been going on for seven days now and you may be able to see there's only a, a scattering, a couple of dozen um, it left on the picket line here. That's been going for some days. So the CFMEU says it was, it was a bit of a stunt bringing in all of those workers with police and mounted police and riot police to get them into the site today ahead of a Supreme Court hearing. Here's what the police said about the, the incident this morning. It wasn't a violent confrontation per se, which we're pleased about. Um, I haven't reviewed all of the footage, but at this stage we're comfortable that they uh, behaved reasonably appropriately. But as I said, if they have punched horses, um, then that's not appropriate. Sadly, it ended in what it did, and it's the the hierarchy of the, of the CFMEU here in Victoria, defying the law of the Supreme Court, defying the Victoria police and really seeing themselves above the law of Victoria. So, so Lisa, what's prompted this disagreement in the first place? Well, unlike so many of the protests we've seen over recent months, this one isn't about pain conditions. In fact, it's more or less about the union's presence at worksite, this one behind me and, and, and three others across Melbourne. Members want the right to be able to wear their union emblems, um, shirts, vests, helmets and, and be able to wave the union flag to show that they are um, represented on those worksites. They also want to be able to have shop stewards on the worksites and their own Oc Health and Safety um, inspectors. Lisa Maximovic in Melbourne, thanks for joining us.